The new Carolean order is underway as King Charles hosts his first state visit as monarch. South Africa makes up one of the 56 Commonwealth member states, an association of mostly former British colonies, with King Charles now as its head. Indeed, the ties between our two countries and nations are old and enduring. The manifestation of our relationship abound. The passing of Queen Elizabeth II sparked a discussion about the role of the monarchy and the legacy of the British Empire. Australia, Antigua and Barbuda and St Lucia are just a handful of Commonwealth nations clamouring for the removal of the British monarch as head of state. And activists like Marlon Kamika are pushing for more. Until they atone for their past that their ancestors enforced on my ancestors and they've benefited from and I haven't benefited from, I, for one, have no respect for that family. This year, Togo and Gabon, both former French colonies in Africa, joined the Commonwealth. And Zimbabwe, a former British colony, is also in the process of being readmitted. But there is still discontent about the legacy of colonial rule and the role Britain played in enslaving millions of Africans until the 19th century. The reality is that it's two clubs within the one. So the white Commonwealth get the benefits of all the learning, all the experience, all, all the uh, pooled resources. And the black Commonwealth, what you have is resources being extracted from there. During the state banquet held for the South African president, King Charles acknowledged the past and pledged for a better future. As I said to Commonwealth leaders earlier this year, we must acknowledge the wrongs which have shaped our past if we are to unlock the power of our common future. The last state visit from South Africa was 12 years ago by the then President Jacob Zuma. Meetings like this are integral for diplomacy and this one in particular comes at a time when the British monarchy and government is trying to reset its fractured relationship with Commonwealth countries. The United Kingdom is a constitutional monarchy, so President Ramaphosa was also welcomed by British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, along with Home Secretary Suella Braverman and Foreign Minister James Cleverley, who all have ancestral ties to Commonwealth nations. The fact that we are welcoming the President of South Africa for His Majesty the King's first ever a state visit, I think, should be read as our enduring commitment to the continent. The royal family now has to find a way of consolidating the Commonwealth's relevance, not only to the Pretoria government, but other Commonwealth states too. Lape Alarinoye, Africa Matters, London.